Unfortunately, often economics doesn't leave much room for heterogeneity. And I think this is particularly the case for the curriculum. Most students learn relatively little about the history of economic thought, about how ideas were born, how models were developed, or about the controversies and debates that surrounded these. Since the financial crisis, economists have been rethinking many of their approaches, the policy advice that they have been giving. But I think the bigger question is not about tweaking models, changing the assumptions, or adding a few modifications, but rather about thinking how economics as a science is structured and about how it is taught. I think that in many aspects we're making great progress. Economics is allowed to look at areas that were previously considered the exclusive domain of other disciplines, whether it's sociology, psychology, political science. We're building on the findings of other scientists, for instance, in the field of behavioral economics. But I think there the big challenge for the next generation will be uh, to keep this and nurture this and allow these different fields to coexist and where useful interact and influence mainstream economics to allow the profession to be more diverse and to learn to listen to this diversity. I think economics can be a useful complement. It can add methods or different approaches and also build on the findings of other disciplines without stepping on their toes.